Hey, this is Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials and the Green Engineers, and uh, welcome back to uh, the Green Machine uh, Metal Mill. And this is um, Metal Mill. This is the Green Machine Metal Mill uh, episode. Sorry, that was my cat. No, she always gets excited when I start talking. So this is uh, episode five. So. Um, Last episode, we uh, went on to Fusion, and we started to design some different stuff. So uh, we started designing the BT40, 6,000 RPM power head, uh, the spindle head test, uh, the Y column, the X column, the Z column. So now um, I'm not getting much response from my uh, ex-boss at the machine shop, so uh, we're going to assume that we're not going to get any help from anybody and that the only thing that we can do is uh, build these things at the shop.build or uh, when school comes back around uh, we have to make them at school but obviously that's a while from now so the idea is that we uh, make it uh, here uh, as quickly you know uh, make it at the shop.build uh, before it goes under so um, we're gonna keep paying those guys money so hopefully they make uh, their ends meet $150 a month plus $50 for uh, for storage. So we're talking $200, $200 a month. Uh, hopefully that helps them stay uh, afloat, and we can continue uh, building these things so that when they do go under, we're ready to go. All right, so um, let's go ahead and uh, look at what we have. So again, we have this general. Let's go ahead and look at our general layout. So this is our general layout, and remember we're, we're getting this guy to fit, let's go ahead and close this. Uh, we're trying to get it to fit on this floor space now, which is 48 inches wide by 29 inches deep. And uh, we're trying to uh, match, if not beat, a Tormach 1100. Uh, basically use kind of similar with, bit. oh, last one, I know what we did, we figured, what? What happened? Okay, so we're gonna use, I think they were 35s. HGH 35 HA and HGH 35 um, CR rails. I think I didn't hit add card, so let's, let's double check that. So let's go AliExpress. Um, HGH 35. H A high win. While I was doing this thing, it's, it's slow because I'm uploading a video before the end of tonight. So I know that that is uh, correct. So let's go ahead and see if we can even get this to do anything. Okay, so there it is. HGI, there HGR. These are 200 centimeter, which is way too short. So right now it is either this guy or we're going to use a different one. So an interchangeable type. So here we have HGH CA. Um, we have HA. So let's go ahead and um, what I'm going to do is we have this image again and um, what I'd really like to know is is on open, do they have this uh, HGH35HA 3D model, do they have those? Nothing on Turbo Squid. Let's 
let's see. No. Oh, this is their website. Okay, so this is Highwind's website. So let's see, let's just flange type. Standard block, number of blocks per rail two. Mounting from top. Rail length, V1 550. Distance from the center, the first hole from left. Medium preload. Or heavy preload precision code C seems like their lowest precision. Okay, so let's see. So HGH R five five zero Z. Is that price? Oh, they do have a three mall. There we go. Um, we want a step file. Let's just say inventor. Okay, project name. I'll show you guys how I did this in a second. Just stand by. <gasps> okay, so it doesn't email it to you. It just allows you to download it. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so, I mean, this is assembly. Okay, so basically what you do is you go on Highwinds, uh, let's go ahead and duplicate this. So basically you go on, um, you go on linear guideways and you say HG series, heavy load, and then you have uh, block rail or assembly. And then you go here and then uh, basically you enter in all your stuff that you want. Uh, model size is 35 millimeter. Remember, we don't know that. Heavy load, super heavy load, blah, 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 blah. From the top, rail length 550, distance from center edge, standards 20, blah, 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 blah. Like preload, heavy load, precision code, blah, blah, blah. And then I did uh, uh, end seal, bottom seal, and scraper. So I didn't do self load again. And then you hit re review properties. Uh, I mean, view results, and then you have the 3D option here. 
and then basically you click on that and then it has this 3D result here and then uh, you basically say I want an inventor and I want a step file um, etc and then you hit download and it downloads it for you after you and then you enter in information uh, your information what project you're working on blah 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 this and that all right so let's go ahead and take a look here look see and here it is There's step file all right let's see what this looks like Why does it have two different styles? I mean, this is very interesting. Uh, obviously, it's wasting quite a bit of time, but uh, uh, basically, outside of the um, outside of the video, what I'll probably do is I'll just do the blocks because I don't know if I'm going to be able to move this. This is this is not. Oh, it is. Hmm. Oh, these things are massive. Look at the size of these things. This thing isn't is 550, is it? 22 millimeters. Maybe 22. Yeah, 558. Okay. So let's take a look at what happens when we mount these bad boys. Oh, we want this back. We don't want this. So this is the Z column. Let's go ahead and delete that. Let's drop these in. Move them over. Okay. Wow, this is really nice to be able to do this. So, let's do this more in the future. Obviously, this is assuming that these are most likely Chinese ripoffs. So, probably not going to be exact, but that's okay. And this also doesn't have to be exact. We'll uh, fix this later. Oh, did the thing just come apart? Yes, it did. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, there are two separate ones. Yeah, so probably what I would do is uh, later on, um, I'll download them as blocks. Which I could do right now, but uh, these are big guys. These are HA, right? Are these HA? Oh, these are CAs. Interesting. I don't know how you do HA. Oh, so yeah, HA is super heavy load block. I see. Oh, these are HAs. Okay. So yeah, basically what I'm gonna do is I would download these normally, but still, this is looking pretty small. Obviously, uh, we're gonna have to increase that that size. So let's go ahead and let's delete this. Let's keep it moving. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Tormach and do some more uh, calculations there to kind of get something that is similar height clearance. Uh, so, let's look at technical specs. So, here we are on technical specs. Let's bring up Calc. So, machine specs. So, again, uh, we're going to do a similar thing. So, overall system height 96 inches minus probably three and a half feet tall. Yeah, let's say three and a half feet times 12. Minus nine. 
9 inches. So that's 45 inches. I think that would be okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the Z column. And that was 45 inches, right? 45 inches. So let's see, but this is going to be a heavy sucker. And the other issue is I'm not going to be able to do that all in one pass. So basically, that's almost four feet. Basically, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to look at what is my maximum travel on the jet at the shop. So let's look at uh, jet manual mill, jet manual mill travels. Yeah, so it's like this guy, pretty basic. Again, the easiest thing to do is stop by the shop. And then uh, it, this one has, the one that uh, I'm gonna use has a DRO, so I could just go to there and um, specifications, and then just travel from one side to the other side. Spindle taper, R8, yeah, diameter coil, number of spindle speeds, variable, range of speeds, down feet per row, spindle, spindle travel, five inch. So overall dimensions is 66 inches wide by 63, um, deep by 85 tall table load max so we could do 660 pounds this is ram travel Oh, maximum distance spindle to column, minimum distance spindle to column, longitude, so that's a big one, 34 inches, so we can't go over 34 inches travel, because then once you move this, this, you knock everything off, and we want everything to be relative to each other, so let's say 30 inches, that's 15 inches maybe even 30, three inches. Was well, that max? Yeah, that's longitudinal ta table travel. Maximum is 34 inches. Okay, so 33 inches. That's pretty heavy. We're already getting at the extents of how much we could, how much load. That's about 160 pounds. That's about, that's pretty much how much I weigh. I weigh about 168, 169 pounds. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do that. And then what is this length here now? 30, obviously 33 inches, 33 inches. So that's 300 and 80, 338 millimeters. So we could go here. Three hundred and sorry, eight hundred and two millimeters. So what I could do here is I could show you guys what it looks like. Number of rails per block. Okay, so let's go ahead and review the results. And let's show you guys the CAD drawing for it. 
And again, this is where I got that. It's a uh, Jet JTM 4 VS operating instruction part manual. Sounds about right. It's pretty close to three feet. Uh, I could double check when I get there. Again, I could jump on there and then use the readout and travel it. So again, these are almost going to be right next to each other. And then that's going to be my total travel. Um, and then obviously I'm going to lose quite a bit. So, because if this is 34 inches, 34 inches minus uh, that spindle travel, which is the uh, BT40 power head. So we're gonna lose pretty much from here to here. So that's 100, 100 millimeters, which is 100 millimeters it is four inches. So we're gonna lose four inches off that already. So we're gonna have 30 inches of travel from the table uh, down to the head but that's not total because technically at this point let's see let's see if we can get the exact travel because the exact travel that's not correct so the exact travel is basically going to be from this end 160 plus a little bit right um plus 100 right so obviously this is probably I'm gonna say, let's just say that this is 40 millimeters. That's too much. Let's just say 160. So 160. That's 200 and that's 260, 260 millimeters. So that's 10 inches. So I'm only gonna have 23 inch travel. Which is a lot. But that's not including the tool height. So the tool height minus another three inches. I think it will be okay. And then obviously this is uh, until I find bigger machine. But even even the uh, AF1060 that my boss has, uh, the machine that originally I was going to use with my boss, I think he's only got uh, a 20 inch table. I think it's like a 15 by 20 or something. Yeah, I'm going to see. Okay, so let's see, AF1060 is my boss's new machine, my X-Boss, right? Um, whoops, not multi-turn. Not vertical turning, vertical milling. I think it's a 40, no, 30 taper, no, 50 taper? Yeah, wait. Forty taper. Okay, so he has an AF ten sixty. Twenty five horsepower. It's a beautiful machine. This is his machine here. Vertical milling machine. Forty taper. Yeah, forty taper. Ten sixty. Okay, so he has a forty one point seven X by twenty three point six by twenty three point six table size forty seven point two by twenty three point six table load fifteen hundred pounds. So it all depends on whether we can get a hold of him or not. Uh, get him to help forty one point seven. So let's write that down. Definitely want to keep that. So 41.7x on um, AF1060. And I know the other one's definitely not 33 inches travel. The other one's a 5T, 5T18 XL. Let's see, table size, X travel 510 millimeters. Yeah, it's almost square. Yeah, so it's only 20, it's only 20 inch travel, that's what I thought. Okay, so that, that one obviously is better just to do it on the manual mill. And he's got a jet also at his shop, so um, that will also work. 
Okay, so let's see, maximum travel is gonna be the 34 inches on the manual. Oops. 34X on jet manual mill the shop dot build. So we have a few options here. But right now this is looking like that's what we got. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. Okay, now the other question is, is it possible to get the model for this? <gasps> I wish they had the model. And also, by the way, I looked at that uh, chainsaw motor yesterday, and it was a 120 by 12, which is 17. So it's it's only like, it's not actually a three and a half horsepower. I don't know where they got that from. It might be that peak or something, and then the 12 amp is average, but it says only 120 volt, obviously 12 amp, which is 1440 watts. That's 1.92 um, it's 1.92 horsepower, but uh, usually what that means is that it's rated, is that that's what it's rated at, which is um, the 80% efficiency, right? Which is 60% uh, its total power. So divided by 0.60 is a 60% power. So yeah, it actually might be actually three and a half watts. Because usually when they rate it, they rate it at maximum efficiency, which is a, for a brush, it's about, a, uh, it's about a 60 percent, it's about 80 percent efficient there. Uh, but um, at peak power, it's about 60 percent efficient. So it's about, it is indeed about three and a half horsepower. If you run it at peak horsepower, which is in the middle of the power range, which it doesn't say a uh, maximum RPM on there. So I'll have to look into that as well. Uh, ask my dad if I could tear it apart and use it at a later point. Cause we're at the maximum. Well, it's a four, it's a four horsepower power head. So uh, we're at the maximum of kind of what we can do. So uh, that looks good as well. So we we are working with so maximum efficiency is two horsepower. Uh, uh, maximum power is three about three point two horsepower, or so. It might be slightly more efficient. So that's what it is. So if we do uh, three point five um, or one point nine two divided by uh, three point five. About 55 minus 1. I did something wrong there. Anyways, figure it out later. It's late at night at this point. Um, so that's good. So we do have a three and a half horsepower. We're going to be pushing this uh, uh, chuck to the absolute limit. Also, uh, which means that if we bought some tools, uh, that means that it will also work on um, my ex boss's machine. So if we bought some of those uh, disc mills from uh, uh, Seiko, they would also work on the AF1060 because, again, it's also a 40 taper BT40. So that's pretty cool. And here is kind of what we're looking, what we're building, and then what they have. But we could see right here the rails. I wonder if it gives us some specs on the rails. You can see the giant motor there. So that's, and this might be, this I think is the, um, this is the chuck, I mean the, the, the um, ATC, I mean uh, the, the draw bar. Yeah, you can see it's kind of in, uh, this is a Taiwan machine. Air reinforced work table, restrange vibration while increasing machine stability. But yeah, you can see how far that head cantilever's out, but it's extremely heavy. 
But you can see that these these carriages are you can see the size of the motor, the size of this motor. This motor is actually gigantic uh, in real life. But you can see the size here versus the size here. I mean, these are pretty big. You know, obviously, even for like a Tormach, these are pretty big. But obviously, this is where uh, the rubber hits the road. You know, this is where a lot of the rigidity it comes from. Uh, these travel pieces, so obviously these are way better than box ways, even though these have low precision. Two and a half inches. Now nah, these are these ones are probably two and a half inches is big, man. These are huge, wide, and then these are five inches long, almost six inches long. Holy crap! I think these are too big. <laughs> They don't need to be that big. These are probably bigger than what they got on these. So you can see here some of the images here. Boom, boom, right? So obviously they have way more mass because this thing is like... Let's see if they'll tell us. It's a little feet, right? Tool magazine. So 24-piece tool changer, which we could eventually do. Max tool weight, 7 pounds or 15 pounds. Uh, da, 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 precision accuracy plus or minus 0 0.01 0 0.0004 Ooh, not the most it's pretty good for production but so these are different these are different testing strategies Ooh, one tenth that's pretty good Repeatability, a different standard. I don't know what the PS stands for. And yeah, it uses a Fanuc control, power requirement at 20,000 volts, 20,000 kilovolt amps, coolant tank, 40 gallons, machine weight. Okay, so these we're looking at AF, oh, uh, 8,000 pounds, four tons, and it uses 35, and then the uh, Fanuc. Okay, so here that might be an issue. Oh, max tool diameter, and then if the adjacent pocket's empty, you could do a six inch. So we're gonna have to, so we would do a six inch, so we would have to have adjacent pocket empty. X travel, you see, oh, oh, that's the wrong one, this one, 41.7, yeah, 31.4, distance from spindle nose to table center, this is between column and what, that's making sense, uh, table size, 1,500 pounds, Ooh. almost almost a ton. Spindle motor constant for 30 minutes. So some different options. We have 15,000. I think he's got a 10,000. So seven and a half horsepower. Oh, well, that's kind of low. Hmm. Direct driven, 10,000, 12,000, 15,000, BT40, yeah. So we could use the exact same ones. Huh. Basically a small version of that one, which is super cool. All right, so this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials and the Green Engineers. I'll see if I can find out how um, I can get a... Uh, ooh. Here's some torque values. Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's get the twin ball, ball screw. Or 48 meters per minute, 18, uh, 1900 inches per minute. I wonder if we could find out what these are. These are probably for vibration or something, or or like a soft stop or something. Yeah, 
interesting. Uh, maybe we'll look more into this in a future video. So uh, thank you guys for watching uh, this video and stay tuned uh, for more information. This is starting to get really exciting where we could see kind of how similar our machine is as far as you know weight and stuff. Uh, obviously it looks like some of the stuff might be a little bit overkill. Uh, so we might want to step back on that and we also see that we might have some issues with as far as being able to do longer stuff. All right, so this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials and the Green Thanks, you guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.